Hi everyone, welcome back to the React JS video tutorial. And in this video, we are going to learn that how we can make a server side rendering with the React. So for that, we have to perform some steps, and these are the steps. After that, we will perform every steps step by step and create a very basic and very simple example for the uh, React SSR. All right. So first of all, we need to create a new app. Then we need to change. Uh, in the index file for SSR and after that we have to install some packages for the server like uh, Babel and uh, Express and after that we will write some code for server and actually I will copy, copy this code so that we can save the time because it's a huge code for a server side alright and uh, after that we have to uh, test and make the build and we will test the server side rendering alright and uh, now let's start with the first step so first of all i'm just going to create a new app so i'm just going to go on a desktop and here i'm just going to write here npx create react app and the app name so i'm just going to put here ssr app and let's hit the enter and it will take some uh, moments to create this app and in this time i'm just going to pause the video so that we can save the video length and save the time also so i'll catch you within some moments welcome back now you can see that ssr app is ready uh, which is actually just we created app note it's completed for now so i'm just going to let's start uh, for a while for it so now just right here as is just going inside this app and just start with the npm start all right just try to start it and open one more terminal and open this app inside the inside the visual studio all right and now you can see that we are able to just uh, start this app so now let's start to change uh, the changes that we need to done so first of all i'm just going to open the index.js file and here just replace it okay i'm just going to put these steps just going to copy these steps and putting here okay so uh, now we have to uh, change some changes inside the ssr so just change this render to the high rate all right and after that uh, we have to just install some packages and the first packages are the uh, express and the other bevels so I am just going to uh, tell you this link which is my git repository and here you will find almost everything that you need inside uh, this project so first of all we did the first step with the changing the uh, render with the hydrate now let's install the express with the as in second step so I'm just going to stop uh, install it and just after installing it we have to install the install the Babel uh, Babel presets and Babel react and the ignore style so that we can just add this style to the front end not from the back end so just copies from here and now just paste it here also and it will just take some moments uh, in this time I'm just going to create a server for that uh, you can see that we need to create a server folder and then we have to create the server.js file okay so I'm just going to click here and just create a new folder with the server and just create here two file one is server.js and another file which we need is index.js index.js perfect okay and now our babel is also installed here so uh, i will explain this code the every line from here but first of all we just i'm going to just copy this uh, from here to our application okay so just come here and paste this code here perfect so now let's uh, see this what we need to do in, in the inside the complete application so first of all we just import the path file system 
express react uh, react dom server it will have some straightforward use i'll tell you and after that we will just get the app from the uh, as a uh, ssr folder all right you can find this app here perfect after that we will define the port and we will uh, get the express inside uh, express inside the app folder and we will just get the routes from the express stored routes after that we will just create a function and in these functions we have the three requests one is the request three parameters one is the request response and the next but in this video we will just use the request so uh, af after that inside this function we use the file system and the read this file and we will read this file from the build and we will create this build you will find it here just after the completing all the steps all right and we will get the this path from index dot uh, html file all right and after that if we find any error then we can say that we have an error uh, if this is everything is fine then we will use the data dot replace and we will just put a root here and with the root we actually use the react dom server and it's have a property which is the renders to the string and it will render the uh, render inside the string to the app component okay and after that we will use this function inside the route dot use parameter here we will provide the route to use and after that we have to just provide some static path and at the last we will use the app uh, app dot use the router and the port will be listen on your port which is the 8080 perfect everything is right here now let's move on the next steps okay so one more thing guys why we just uh, create the index.html by default node cannot understand the imports and ECMAScript six things so that we have to just change here something okay so just copy some uh, index.file index.js file and paste it directly here and whenever I'm just going to paste it we have to explain the code also so first of all we will just ignore the style from here so that we can uh, style we should not com come from the uh, server side rendering because it will take some time and it will block our prof uh, the fast speed of your application after that we will need the babel and we need to ignore the node modules here and in the process we have to just put the babel process environment and process react after that we will just require the server here and this file uh, have the complete server file here after the required and we can easily use this everything is fine here so now let's make a build here with this command so i'm just going to put this command here and whenever i'm just going to putting this command you will see a build folder there is created here okay and it it should be a index file this is the build is now uh, inside in the process when you will find index dot uh, html find and this file will be come directly here as we discussed just some moments ago okay and after that we just have to uh, run this uh, application on the node server so i'm just going to uh, hit this server okay so maybe uh, the 8080 port is busy in my application so i'm just going to put here some another port like 5000 and just try to run it again and now you can see that ssr is running on 5000 port so now just come here and write here 5000 and whenever i'm just going to see it now you can see that style is ignored but everything is rendered now this is our previous application with, without the ssr this is also running inside this port and the ssr app is also running on that port so let's see the difference whenever i'm just going to open it you will see that inside the root folder there is nothing here because everything is coming from the javascript file and whenever i'm just coming here and i'm just going to check here the root you will find there is a div app header images app logo and everything is here that means the everything is come from the html and this html is coming from the server side and server on the server side we will convert javascript 
to the HTML. So this is actually a pure server side scripting application. All right. So if you still have any kind of confusion, you can ask me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you don't know about uh, what is the actually SSR and why we need it, then you can go over uh, another video. The link is given inside the description box. Bye bye. Take care.